Ellie, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you? I'm fantastic. What's your question for us? Well, my question is, I have these bumps on my arms and some on my thighs. And they're acne-like, but they're really not. There's no pustules or anything, you know, like that. And they're, you know, I get very self-conscious about them. I notice they get worse with stress. I'm not sure if that is in But you're not sure what they are. I'm not quite sure what they are. No, I'm not. Well, well Ellie, come on up. Let's All take right. a look. <laughs> if the four of us can't figure it out, it can't be figured out, right? Yeah. Figure it out. Very nice to meet nice you. To meet Welcome. You. So it's on this side. So more on, on More that on this side. side, yeah. And I pick. Mm. But, um... So red raised bumps. Red raised bumps. And you have them on your legs I as well? I have them on my legs, yes. Any on your buttocks? Occasionally, yeah. Okay. On the well, buttocks. What this is is a condition called keratosis pilaris. It's a pretty common skin condition. In fact, almost 50% of people have a certain degree of this. And it's not serious. It typically does appear on the areas that you just mentioned on your arms, your legs, and your buttocks. And as the name implies, keratosis pilaris, it's a, it's a buildup of that outer layer okay. of your skin, the keratin layer. And what happens, because you have too much keratin, it forms a barrier, a sort of plug, to your hair follicles. Okay. So watch this. As your hair follicles try to grow, okay. they pop up. So called, that's giving that condition of KP or keratosis pilaris. Okay. These are, it's actually very common in kids and adolescents, and the good news is you usually outgrow it by the time you're about 30, okay. which okay. is really great. Now, one thing, <laughs> the fact that it does run in families, whenever I see it in kids, I usually look at the parents too, especially on the My back niece of the has arms. It as well, we just saw some yeah. on her, and I was just like, very, very common, right, and well, you know, one of the big causes... You can causes, give her her di diagnosis. I will. One, of the, <laughs> one of the big causes of this is actually food allergies. It can okay. be the, uh, sometimes the only sign of a mild food allergy. And sometimes and I, hormones can trigger hormones it Hormones, well. and, yeah. and, and okay. they say stress as well. But, mm -hmm. you know, if you go see the doctor for this, treatments they may suggest are microdermabrasion okay. to open up those plugs. Scrubs and all exactly. that. Exactly. Also, one pulse dye one. laser, because okay. they are red, it's that red beam laser that focuses in on that. But okay. you, you don't necessarily have to do that. We have some at-home remedies. Yeah. We've, we've come up with a little concoction. This mixture is olive oil okay. and sugar. How it works is by mixing these ingredients, so you see the consistency of this right here, and you apply it you know, onto the skin, okay. and you're going to want to actually rub it in you can exfoliate, okay. and what the sugar does is help break up some of that keratin, and then the olive oil, since it is a dry skin condition, mm -hmm. the olive oil is going to add moisture okay. to the skin. So it's something you can try. Yeah, good deal. Okay. Another great home remedy is to make an aspirin scrub. Okay. Take about 10 aspirin and dissolve them in some warm water till you get a nice paste, mix it up really good, and then just scrub it on your skin. I'm not going to do it on, but just scrub it on for about 10 seconds or so, okay. and then rinse it off. And that, aspirin actually contains a beta-hydroxy acid, which okay. you see that ingredient in a lot of skincare products, and that actually helps exfoliate all those old dead, dead skin cells. Okay. And also for over-the-counter, if you don't have time to make up something yourself, anti-dandruff shampoo, okay. and that's because a lot of them contain salicylic acid, so that's the kind that you would want. And that's because it can reduce the swelling, soften the skin, slough off the dead skin cells, okay. all that good stuff that mm -hmm. it does for dandruff it can actually do on your skin as well. So are you ready to take a test on this now? Sure. Well, you're, you're the expert. And you know, it's so great you came and volunteered because so many millions of people watching have the same condition. Now you know what it is. It is Keratosis pilaris, not serious, treatable. And thank and you, you so much for sharing. Thank, thank you. you. Good job.